Finally this evening, for years, there's been a lot of attention placed on Atlantic salmon spawning up Maine's waterways. And as towns, cities, and nonprofits have worked to remove old dams to allow them a clear run upriver, another species is taking advantage and reaching spawning grounds now we haven't seen in a long time. New Center Maine's David Guildford took a walk in the woods to show us. This is the Millbrook Preserve in Westbrook. Here, it's a peaceful oasis, but below the surface, a bit of chaos. They're like the underdog. This is the end of one of the largest alewife runs seen here in years. Mill Brook flows into the Presumpscot River, which flows into Casco Bay. These specific fish lived four years out to sea and have traveled 14 miles upstream to get here and spawn the next generation. They don't leap with the grace of salmon. No, they are a determined scramble up these waterfalls. Alewives are in the herring family, distinct for their big eyes and big belly. So look to your left, you'll see little groups of them. This is an alewife walk, organized by the Presumpscot Regional Land Trust. That dark mass is also them. You just can't see them as clearly. And the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. Senior research associate Zach Whitener caught a few to bring back to the lab and to show to the group. You can touch them if you want. The alewife is not a threatened species by population, but dams lock them out of many historic inland spawning grounds. Dam removals in the Kennebec and Penobscot, Whitener explained, have brought migrations back inland. Their numbers ballooning from tens of thousands to millions. The numbers really were at their lowest probably in the late 90s, early 2000s, and have really started to come back. That's welcome news for the whole ecosystem. Most birds, mammals, and other fish big enough to eat an alewife would love to get their beak on one. And with a habitat range reaching Florida, Whitener said, they're climate resilient. So even though it's getting warmer here, this is still perfect habitat for them. And so if we give them the opportunity to go where they want to go, where they need to go, they do very well. And for the future, the GMRI is using something called environmental DNA. Add another layer of certainty because DNA doesn't lie. They collect water samples that can tell researchers what animals were there recently. To assess the biomass and the abundance of these fish during their migration. Meaning they can use more than their nets to study migrations, perhaps leaving more time to appreciate this walk and this species. In Westbrook, David Guilford, New Center, Maine.